This is your monthly Phoenix real estate market update with me, Steve Fetch. This month, a hot start to the new year. The Phoenix metropolitan area has a population of nearly 4.9 million people. On the first of the year, there were less than 11,000 active listings on the MLS. That is less than 1% of all available homes. The last time inventory was this low was in August 2005. But our population in the Valley then was only 3.8 million people. That's 20% fewer people than we have today. The normal supply for a city this size should be closer to 25,000 to 30,000 homes for sale. This means we have a serious shortage of supply in the housing market. And to make things a little more challenging, the number of sales in 2019 were nearly 4% higher than our sales in 2018, while monthly sales in December were up 17% over last year alone. The demand is being fueled by population growth, job growth, income growth, and continued low interest rates. So what does this mean for you? Well, for our buyers, we expect an increase in new listings over the next 12 weeks. However, given the depleted inventory, prices will most likely continue to rise. People looking to buy in the near future should have a sense of urgency and act now before they are priced out of the market. This is an exciting time for those of you who want to sell, though. Anyone who owns property has probably fielded calls from all kinds of people wanting to buy their home. While sellers are under much less pressure to perform repairs, and upgrades in order to sell, buyers still want houses that are move-in ready. But this is the market to sell, regardless of the condition or location of the home. The market is so hot for sellers, those considering selling to an investor buyer should know that they can still have convenience and negotiating power and can usually save money by hiring a realtor like me. This is Steve Phipps with Keller Williams Realty Phoenix. For more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you on the next video.